morning everybody it's my birthday it's my birthday i'm gonna spend his money hello everybody welcome back to my channel it's been a while i feel um i feel like most of my energy has been going into my podcast lately um so huge thanks to anybody who has tuned into that there's my birthday balloon there um i still haven't taken that down just because it makes me smile every time i walk in it's just the novelty of having a balloon that's like happy birthday like every day should be my birthday i should not every day should be my birthday but every day i should feel like what it felt like when it was my birthday which was just buzzing i was just so so happy i'm wearing one of my birthday presents now this like kimono i feel so fabulous in this so yeah i've got a ton of clips just on my uh, memory card over the last few weeks some birthday related some just random little bits and bobs here and there so i'm just going to collate them all into this video and leave you with it i hope you enjoy it it has been a while since i've uploaded a vlog i i feel i have been focusing a lot on the podcast and on property couple and joel and leah so yeah thanks for joining and um i hope you enjoy everybody welcome Hi. back with Christy and you might recognize this hotel because I was literally here about a week and a half ago with Atch as a little what was it a little birthday party thing we were in she London was with and now, she's and now with my girlfriend, with my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I've actually got a full day of socializing in London I feel so bougie I've got lunch plans well we've got lunch plans with our friend Shu then I'm seeing my friend Jess who you might know from the podcast and then I'm seeing my friend James Lanigan who you might remember from Chichester Walk <laughs> This is long-winded. And then, yeah, so I got myself a little discounted room here tonight. So I thought, why not? It's only 80 quid. 80 quid it's, it's for the room. really nice. But it's a no-brainer. It's such a nice room. I've given you guys plenty of tours around it, these rooms. There's a TikTok. You take it and, away. and there's a TikTok and the sound. I wish I knew what the TikTok was, but the sound goes, This is nice! <laughs> and that's just what I wanted to say as soon yeah. as we walked in the room. It's oh, nice. this is nice! It's lovely as always. You've got the bickies, you've got the tea, you've got the mini bar. I might have a biscuit. I'll have a bite. Yeah, I just had a biscuit. Oh, he dropped some. <laughs> I'm not eating that. But, mm. I still would. Would you? I'd lick these floors. No! <laughs> Why are you always weird on my vlogs and normal, <laughs> normal on yours? You were so weird on mine. Anyway, so full day of socialising, might vlog it, might not. Oh, it's chocolate orange, that's why it's so nice. Oh. oh my God. If you want it, you it was lovely. I've got more biscuit there. Okay. Chocolate orange. Just Delightful. look at what they give you in the bathroom, right? Look at that selection. Of toiletries to use in the shower. For the oh my, I haven't flushed the toilet. It's alright, it was only a wee. Thank goodness! <laughs> Washing the toilet on the ball. Here we are. It's gym sometime, baby. <laughs> Why are you two the best? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. She is the best person to take you out for food in London. Like she knows the best spots. I know. It's an exciting time when you're at lunch with food. So we got here and we were like, Shu, could you just order everything? Thank you. Oh my god, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Sorry. you. Yeah, so we've ordered a bunch of dumplings, steamed dumplings, all my faves. We've got one time noodles, which is my fave and your fave. Introduce Christy to one time. Lovely. And also got your favourite buns as well. Actually. Oh my gosh, can't wait. Throwback. Thank you. These are the egg yolk buns, salted egg yolk. Um, this is like prawn and this is glutinous rice. Glutinous, glutinous rice. Enjoying it. Guys, you know I love this so much. I love it. That's on par, if not better than the other one. <gasps> really? It's been so long since I tasted it, Sheila. It's like, yeah. I can't compare. You'll be more, you better be, you'll be better at comparing. You might be like, mm. compare to, you come here often? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have been walking down the road, yeah. manifesting our futures together. Happy. It's been amazing. It's what? just, I feel on top of the world. <laughs> you. It's been like such a surge of positive energy, like I know. affirmation. I love dim sum. <laughs> 
Yeah, we can look back on this clip yes. in like a few years' time and be like, oh, look at our man. Look at our 20s. Look at our 20s, and now we're our 30s. Oh, yeah. Look what we're doing Not now. Yet. Not quite yet, but yeah. nearly. We'll be there, though. Look yeah. back on this clip. Oh, yeah, we'll look back on it in like five and then 10. Yeah. Then 15. Oh, and then on our 50th birthdays, so we'll crack it out. On the we'll projector. crack it out with our little walking sticks. No, we don't probably won't have walking sticks at 50, will no, we? No, I'm definitely no. having a mobility scooter. Yeah, I would like yeah. tearing up the streets on that, absolutely. Yeah, we can do a video on how we decorate our mobility to the office. <laughs> Just got to Notting Hill and I'm off to meet Jess, who you might know, you might remember from my podcast. Um, Jess, who plays Cressida in Bridgerton. Oh, my mask is still there. I feel like it's just easier if it just lives there, because then when you need it, you're just like that. But um, yeah, I feel like today is like pure socialising. No work whatsoever. I'm drowning in stuff I need to do, but I'm just like, have a day off, Leah. Go see your friends. So yeah, I'm going there now. Oh my gosh. Imagine living in one of these, guys. Look at these multicoloured houses. They're just insane. They're so cute. And they get even better as you get down there on Portobello Road. This is just like the road leading up to it. I'm a bit of a sucker for a blue plaque. If I see a blue plaque, it means like a person of interest lived there. So I actually did a video all about that um, in my listed buildings video on YouTube, on YouTube, on my property channel. So go check that out if you're interested. Sorry, I always go silent when I walk past people because I suddenly got nervous to vlog in public recently. It's been so long since doing anything like this. I get a bit like stage fright. There is a place this is that you can get it. Yeah. yeah. Where? It's you know. called um, fully charged. Is that a ride? <laughs> You're amazing. Uh... See you later, mate. A lot of attention for the bike. Yeah. She's got to go. Bye. Off she goes into the distance. I'm not joking, every single person that saw that bike was like, where's that bike from? It's constantly starting conversations, like I know anything about the bike, but it was fun. Oxford Street, okay. I've got one hour to kill, and I'm in Oxford Circus now. Whoa, busy. Lunch tick, coffee date tick. We had a bit of rosé, and now, I've got dinner in an hour, in exactly an hour. We've just finished having dinner together. Pizza Express. <laughs> literally like me and Leah's jam like since we were like 16. Go Pizza Express, get a margarita with a soft egg on it, like live your life. Yeah. But then it's only when you go to nicer restaurants when you're older, you go back to Pizza Express and you're like, mm, maybe it's not as good as it was, but it was still delicious. Oh yeah, I had a lovely time. Yeah, it was yeah, lovely. Um, when was the last time we saw each other? Mid-Covid, we went for a walk. Yeah, we went around the ruins, didn't we? Yeah. So, guys, if you don't recognise James, <laughs> go back and watch that video. I've, I've had an urban glow up. So, uh, <laughs> he lives in yeah. London now. <laughs> Better be up all night doing that. <laughs> Make me famous. <laughs> Joking. James was like, you can edit that tonight and send it yeah, to me. Yeah, you better fucking like... edit that all night. Send it me 1am because <laughs> I want to see myself on the YouTube tomorrow. Oh my gosh. He's joking. <laughs> right. Love you. Nice. Mwah. Love Bye. You. Bye. Bye. You're amazing. You're amazing. Have a really nice Sunday evening. Thank you. Bye. Take later. care. See ya. So good meeting up with my school friends. I actually did two school friends today. Now I'm meeting up with... Um, Christy and Shu, we're going for a little drink tonight. Yeah. Wow, what a day. This I haven't done this in so long. Just like have a day of just seeing, catching up with old friends. Right, it's now 1.30 a.m. An absolutely wonderful day. Feel, I feel like all socialized out. Like I don't need to do that now for like another month. <laughs> too much rosé, too much, <laughs> too much. <laughs> Poor Christy, just. Had a bit of a rough ride, a bit bless her. I have been vomiting quite a lot. <laughs> so bad. Like, I'm, I'm not living up to my good backpacker party name because, like, oh, gosh. I just couldn't handle my alcohol tonight. Don't smell my breath, sorry. I won't smell your breath. Well, I'm gonna take off whatever's left of this makeup and go to bed. Also, can I just say earlier, when I said, oh, I'm gonna go to John Lewis and I get my makeup done, they didn't do it because of COVID. But I just ended up buying makeup in there, but then not getting any makeup done on my face. Anyway, that's just information. Christy's just stripped off and then gone like this in the mirror. 
but now I've got my pajamas. Like, how nice are these pajamas? They're, They're really lovely. Soft. Okay, I'm hard. I'm just gonna get tick comments. So I am gonna have to cut it. Morning. There's nothing like watching Love Island from the bed. Casting it to the TV. I know. I don't know how we missed this on social media. I know. I, I guess I haven't really been looking, but yeah, how have we missed this? Yeah, I, I mean, it's good. It's good. It keeps it's good. Surprised. It's very good. When Amelia had Zacchaeus, we didn't have a tea in the morning. Oh, that's embarrassing. That colour. That is embarrassing. Right, so we ordered. Christy's got a sausage bap. <laughs> She's so excited. I got a bacon bap. It's the lids for me. It's the lids. And then I got a iced coffee because I'm in the mood. And um, Christy got a matcha latte. Matcha latte. I've got to get back to the Midlands. I've got a call with um, like my property coach at like three o'clock. And I'm like calculating the route. And I'm like, I can't be late. I can't be hungover. I've got to show up. I'm hanging, but I feel amazing. Oh just like, this bed is just amazing. And like, so nice. when you get breakfast in bed, I just, it's, and watching Love Island, oh, just, it's just, this is our, just our life. It's just our dream. Like, I don't even care that I'm hanging. I've popped a paracetamol. All we need is Joel in the middle. Oh, we need Joel. Watching <laughs> Love Island with her. Here we are. Oh my gosh. We arrived. Destination yep. is on your left. Thank you. Um, we come here every year. Every year we come. We have a nice relaxing spa day. Sun is out this year, whereas I think I think when we came last year, it was dull. We didn't come last year, my darling. Good memory. That was the first year we didn't come because of COVID. Mm -hmm. huh. Come in, Mum. <laughs> no, you don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> right, well, we're now going to go and have some swimming pool time. We've got into our robes and our treatment is... <gasps> oh, oh, I lost my... Yes. Oh, thanks, Mum. Otherwise, I look like a potato. And, um, yeah, having a lovely day. Happy birthday, Leah. Thank you. Hey, so mum's gone in for her massage and I'm just chilling in the little, what is it, a hot tub? What is it? I think they call it a vitality pool. So I'm in the vitality pool. And then I'm going for a strength and resilience massage, which I love the sound of. When I saw the menu, I was like, I need strength and resilience. <laughs> mum's having hot stone, which I've never had. So I don't know if that's any good. I'm sure it will be. Um, but yeah, what a lovely day. It, it's now time for my massage. So I'm gonna go up. I've just actually patted down my face because I did put a little bit of um, tinted SPF on today. So I don't want that to like come out on the massage table. Um, but yeah, mum's just had hers and now I'm going up for mine. And then it's over to the hotel for afternoon tea. This is my massage room. Hello. Hey. And these are my disposable pants, which I'm about to put on. <laughs> right, this is where we're going for afternoon tea. So the spa was just behind us, and that is the hotel. So excited. Hair's wet, but who cares? Just showered the quick as quickly as I could. Um, it doesn't matter that my hair's wet, does it, Ma? I'm so excited for afternoon tea. <laughs> Please press the bell, press the bell, and be waiting to be greeted by our team. So this is the afternoon tea setting. Love it. Thank you so much. So we have a um, egg mayo sandwich, mm. a chicken and uh, lettuce um, wrap. Nice. And a salmon sandwich. Mm. We also have a chocolate release, a mm. strawberry tart, carrot cake, and mixed berry macarons. Amazing, Enjoy. thank you. That was genuinely one of the nicest days I've had in a really long time. And I know mum really needed that massage. She's been so stressed out. And yeah, I think we both needed it, but especially mum. So it was lovely to spend time together. Okay, the fan is on in my VIP room. And I just had a letter. I have won on my premium bonds. I forgot I even had these. In fact, I thought I sold all of them. I did, now I'm about to get on the phone and be like, sorry, what? I've got premium bonds since when? And they've got my wrong address. They sent it to my mum's house, which is where I lived like 15 years ago. Um, so yeah, oh, exciting. I'm gonna call them up. Same outfit, different friend, <laughs> different occasion. So today, well, tonight, I love that it's so light and it's like this late on, half six. 
um, me and my best friend from school are going for sushi. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. Um, I've just got my makeup on. I'm going to go pick her up. Sunglasses, check. And tomorrow is my actual birthday, but this is my birthday eve. Morning, everybody. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I'm going to spend his money. It's my birthday. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I only spend my money, but probably... You've already spent my money. You Have spend, I? You spend my money every day, love. On what? Exactly. What do I spend your money on? I finish the sentence. I spend your money every day on... I've literally... I don't ask for nothing. We've got a joint account, so she just rinses me day in, day out. <laughs> Fill up the car, hundred pounds. Join the car? No, I actually put it on my own. Um, right. Anyway, we are on our way to the Cotswolds and meeting up with Joel and Christy, and we're going to have a lunch together, do a little bit of sunbathing. Um, because we're going to a place where I can't vlog. It's uh, Soho Farmhouse. I've been there before. The point is, I don't really know how much I'll be able to show you. So, just going to enjoy the day, and um, as much as I can show you, I will. Look at these, actually. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, the date on the other one said 1772. Old, like, barns and... They're just stunning. Houses. Look at this one. Yeah, they're really stunning. Especially if, like, they've been modernised inside. I think historical exterior and then inside it's like a smart home and it's really nicely done. I like traditional as well, but don't get me wrong, I like, I like the thought of having a little USB plug next to my bed. She's posing for the camera. It's birthday girl. She's got a hair Skinny legend, skinny legend. You look really skinny. Oh, your birthday girl. Top row there. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's it. Guys, get it, get it, get it. Okay, now. Oh, hello everybody. I'm with you. Here she is. Hello. Oh, I nearly stacked it. That was nearly the end of the night. That was that nearly was both the beginning and the yet. end of the night. Imagine the 10 second vlog like, hi guys, I wish you. <laughs> stack it. I do um, have this effect on people apparently. <laughs> I'm shoes okay. plus one tonight at an event and uh, we're walking there now. So I'm really excited. It's uh, Peruvian food, drinks and good vibes. So yeah. thank you, Shu, for inviting me. I oh, know, you are invited and you're so excited. Because you're cool. We've had one gin and tonic and a bit of sushi. Oh, wait, how do I go up Garrick Street? Garrick Street, yeah, okay. We're gonna focus now, bye. The influencer in the wild. Uh, <laughs> I've been found. <laughs> it's Peruvian. It looks really good. <laughs> Hello everyone, editor Leah here. Um, I've run out of clips, so that's it. That's the whole vlog. I really hope you enjoyed that. I know it's a little bit um, bitty. So those are just clips that I had in my in my camera reel and I just threw it all together. I I feel like whenever I do a vlog that's a bit like this, I always apologize for it. And everyone's like, don't apologize. And they no, but genuinely like, the content will improve. <laughs> um, please stick with me. Um, also, uh, thanks so much for all your prayers for my uncle Paulie. Um, he's having a trachy trachy trach Um, which is obviously a procedure which comes with a lot of complications. But he's been in the hospital for uh, I think 28 days now, and you know they feel like he's ready to move on to the sort of next stage of recovery, which is that. So you know, just got to put our faith in the doctors and nurses and um, and the big guy upstairs as well. I just, there's no point panicking. Like I think over the last few weeks, I've, I remember being with Shu and Christy, we were at that um, dim sum restaurant and that's when I got a text from mum saying like, this is what's happening, going on the, you know, he's going to be putting an induced coma. Um, and I, I, just, I felt extremely guilty for having any fun, like even on my birthday, having fun with my friends and like having a drink. And I just feel like this, anyone will know as soon as, you know, a family member or someone close to you gets unwell, you just feel like you shouldn't, I'm sorry, Google's talking to me through my ears. You just feel like you shouldn't and couldn't be, can't be doing anything fun when in reality, like you've got to carry on living your life and that person that's unwell like if it was me that was unwell and then i came out of hospital and my family and friends had just stopped their life and just stayed at home worrying i would feel like why did you waste that time like what what could you have done so i just keep trying to tell myself like don't feel guilty for like living your life and like going out shooting content like i just 
you'll know what the guilt's like if you've been through this. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed for Uncle Paulie and hopefully he makes a strong recovery. Don't know how how many more weeks or months this is gonna take. I, I truly believe he'll make it. Um, so I can't wait to see him. And um, I keep sort of like imagining, you know, hanging out with him again, going back to his house, having a lovely roast dinner. Not that he'll be the one cooking it. <laughs> It'll probably be me or mum cooking it. Um, but yeah, loads of love you guys. Thanks so much for um, watching another vlog. Thanks to anyone who's been listening to the podcast and um, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Okay guys, if you've watched all the way through to the end card, then why not leave me a little birthday cake emoji below so I know that you've watched all the way. <laughs> That's how I'll know who's loyal and who's true. Um, speak to you soon. Bye.